You're right, Samya. It's been a while since I did an update video for my laser engraver. The last time I showed you how I made a custom bed for it, and this time the folks over at Banggood sent me a new rotary attachment. They sent it me to do a TikTok video, but I thought I'd show you here on YouTube how I set it up and what I'm going to use it for. The video isn't sponsored in any way, but there is an affiliate link in the description below if you want to check it out. To help mark a parallel line to cut, I used a piece of plywood offered up to the gantry. With my guidelines marked out, I could use an oscillating tool to cut out the rectangle shape. The rotary attachment fits nicely, so I can thread the motor's cable through the hole in the side of the laser, and into where the controller board is. The rotary plugs into the Y-axis port, so I first unplugged the current Y-axis motor from that port, and swapped it for the rotary attachment. I used some material under the rotary attachment to help raise the glass into the laser's focus point. Now when I turn the laser on, the rotary keeps spinning, that's because it's trying to home itself. So I manually move the gantry to engage the homing switch at the top. I then move the gantry to the centre mark I made on the side of the rail. I did do a test engrave with the design and its normal dimensions, in this case 61mm wide. But when it engraved, it looked really stretched out. I measured the etched design and it was 122mm wide, so I thought if I squash the design by half, it should etch correctly next time, and it did thankfully. To squash the design, I first made sure the ratio lock was unlocked, as I only want to change the width of the design. I then halved the width to 30.5mm, made sure the file unit was set to millimetres, and resized the page to match the design. I could then open the file in K40 Whisperer, rotate it and move it into the right position. I use a speed of 150mm a second and set my power to 12%. To help the rotary attachment grip the glasses, I add an elastic band to the top and bottom of the glass. A 3mm spacer helps me set each one in the same position. Now it's just a case of etching the design. This glass design is available on my store now, which is linked in the description below. I also etched some special glasses for my Patreon supporters too. Now speaking of Patreon supporters, I've had a brand new supporter and that's Ken. Thank you so much Ken, I really appreciate the support that you're showing me and my channel. Those glasses are getting sent out to all my Patreon supporters. It's just a small thank you just to show my appreciation for all the support that you're showing me and I just really appreciate it guys, so thank you so much. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, make sure you click the subscribe button and click the little bell next to it so you get a pop up on your phone or an email letting you know there's something there new to watch whenever I upload a new video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down and I'll catch you on the next one.